Every once in a while, bands organically come together, people who have the same thing in mind. Some bands get together because the guys in it were born to play, and they all want nothing in the world more than to play music. Somehow I managed to wind up being able to spot that when it happens. Uh, and I spotted it here and, uh, and decided that uh, I was probably the luckiest guy on the face of the earth because one of the guys is my son. And he's an utterly brilliant musician, but that doesn't guarantee that it'll go ka you know? And the guitar player, Jeff. I've been working with Jeff for like six years and, and I decided I wanted to play with him the first six notes I heard him play. Music is personal. It's the language of, of, of emotion, you know, it's the language of, of your heart. And uh, it matters to us. Uh, we don't do it to make money. We do it because we couldn't possibly do anything else. Well, there is an interesting story how we met. Um, I was performing with Mark Cohn, and we were opening up for Crosby, Stills & Nash. They were doing an acoustic tour, and uh, Mark and I were, was touring as a duo. So we were at the Blossom Music Center in Ohio, I believe, Cuyahoga Falls in Ohio, and uh, Mark and I were doing our sound check, and we're, you know, plugging in the guitars and getting things tuned up, and <clears throat> all of a sudden I see David walk through the wings and come in. And as soon as I see him, I start playing triad. And the, the first notes he played, I said, whoa, 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 who's that? Where, whoa, whoa, where'd that come from? And I ran out to the stage, and I'm sitting there listening to this guy sound check with Mark, and Nash comes up beside me. And we both look at each other, and we go, we're stealing this guy. And he looks at me, you know, and starts smiling, and I looked at him and started cracking up. And, you know, from that moment on, I mean, we were kind of joined, you know. There was just something going on there. The discussion of how completely in the small end of the odds it is that I would find my son at all, which is rare, and, or that he would find me, rare, uh, and that he would have chosen the same path as me without knowing that I was his father, which he did, which is impossibly rare, uh, and that he would be really, really good. <laughs> it's just like infinitesimal. It, the odds are so long, it's, it's impossible. I see a lot of him in me, and I see a lot of myself in him. Especially when we're, when we're playing together, we kind of have this unspoken link, you might call it. And it, it's pretty strange. I mean, we kind of know what each other is going to do, you know, musically. So don't you think that it might have been more interesting, or business-wise more interesting, to call the album David Crosby instead of CPR? No. Uh, we probably could have sold more, but uh, it isn't David Crosby and two guys that he hired. It's it's a band. There's a there's a thing that I know from having seen it before, and that's when a chemistry happens between people musically. And it doesn't always mean that you that you're best buddies, or that you want to all go live in a house together. Mm -hmm. But when you get in a room and play music together something happens. There's some chemistry that takes place and suddenly poof, it, the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts all of a sudden. There's a multiplication that takes place. That happens with the three of us. Both Jeff and James, uh, you know, no slur intended on, on Stephen and Graham, you know, they're great energy, you know, and they're great musicians, but these guys are young. And they have a tremendous amount of energy. And they just kick my butt. Mm -hmm. I have to really be involved and really be focused and really be into it just to stay with them. And that there isn't anything better that could happen to me at this stage of my life. So do you two still hear the achievement of the things that, well, Stills, Nash, Crosby, Young did in the 60s and 70s in the music of those days? Sure. Yeah. I mean, oh, they're, yeah. they're a part of the embroidery of who we are. You know, certainly for me, I was a big fan of that music, and I, I'm a self-taught player, so I learned from listening to records. So David didn't know it. He was one of my guitar teachers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, obviously, that music 
for me is very important. So um, I feel like paying homage to where David's been, you know, is an important voice in what we do, as well as what James and I bring to the current sound of the ensemble. The blending of the voices is one of the things that people are still talking about when it well, comes to the work of David Crosby and all those people he used to sing with. What is the blending of those voices exactly? What is it? Is it finding well, another note or another tone? It's magic. I, you can't predict it. You can get three great singers and put them together and it doesn't happen. You can get three people who are who are not necessarily great singers, but somehow the tones work together, and it happens, you know. Uh, and uh, it's just a, st a strange thing, uh, uh, and I have a great affinity for it. I have always loved harmony. <laughs> 